Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna be reviewing this 35th anniversary limited edition series Congas born in 1999. I was 11 years old at that time, which is my breakdancing era. All right guys, the review is gonna be based on pros and cons, sound test with synthetic and natural heads. And I'm gonna remove all the hardware and heads to take a look inside of the shells. I bought this Quinto and Tumba a few months ago in a separate deal here in Boulder, Colorado. I dyed the natural heads in black color as you can see here. If you want to learn the process on how to dye these drum heads, just check out my other tutorial video where I show you how to dye your natural heads in different colors. Alright guys, let's get into it. This is a 3 piece set consists in Quinto, Conga and Tumba. I just bought these 3 Congas a few days ago. They are 21 years old by now and look at them, they are still in beautiful condition. Each conga has one of these 35th anniversary limited edition series congas catalog. And I don't know why, but they kind of look very dark on the pictures catalog, as you can see there. Believe me, they look way, way better in person than on this catalog picture. Now, each certificate came in an envelope like this one. It also came with these two green catalogs. And this basically shows you the different instruments they made for this 35th anniversary. Like this cha cha cowbell, or like this bongo, which I'm gonna be looking for pretty soon. Let me know in the comments if someone has this bongo. Now on the other side it shows an Afuche Cabasa and also a jam block, which it would be so cool to have. And I don't know why but this catalog was also given to me when I bought these congas. The guy also gave me this LP Millennium Edition catalog. This Quinto has the What the Best Players Play yellow sticker. I am really, really in love with this finish. Now this is the 11 3 quarters conga. This conga also has the yellow sticker. The only problem here is that it's a little bit off of the shell. Stay tuned for the rest of the video and I'm gonna show you how I re-glue stickers. And now this is the tumbadora, 12 and a half. As you can see, it doesn't have the yellow sticker by the handle. If you were to choose, what would you prefer to change on these congas? I already fixed the sticker, but I'm gonna show you how I fixed it with this scotch adhesive spray. I applied it on a bag like this, and then with the screwdriver or a very thin tool or toothpick, then you're gonna apply it on the sticker, just on the sticker, don't apply it on the shell. And then you're gently gonna rub it, All right, guys, let's move on to the synthetic heads. This is the Remo No Skin 11 inch Quinto. To be honest with you, I didn't really like that part where the head opens like that. You can even see the inside ring. I'm not gonna use this head due to this issue. And for some reason, it gets worse on the Quinto. This one is the 11 three quarters for Conga. This one is a little bit better than the Quinto, but it also has that gap in one of the sides of the conga, and that's what I decided not to use them. Now, this is the Tumbadora head, and usually these synthetic heads always fit in comfort curve rims as long as it's the right size. And finally, I got this Remo Skin Deep 11 3 quarters, which I'm going to try to fit in the comfort curve 2 rim. And as you can see, it creates a gap right there. But don't worry, the head is gonna stay in place and you're gonna be able to tune it up. And now guys, let's take a look inside of the shells. Now these fiberglass shells are supposed to be bulletproof because they are reinforced with a Kevlar layer. They also have a steel ring embedded at the top of the bearing edges. I believe they are made the same as Galaxy Series and Fausto Cuevas except for the finish and the gold hardware. Now let's talk about the bottom rings. The Fausto Cueva signature congas have the rubber bottom rings, which I think it's a pretty cool feature, but these ones have the metal rings. So I'm gonna try to DIY my rubber bottom rings for these congas. All right guys, due to the small bottom rings, I put another rug underneath this rug so we can create an uneven surface 
And now we're gonna test them from falling. Quinto. Easy. Right away. From any angle. Conga and Tumba are a little bit better, but if you have kids or dogs at home, and if you wanna avoid accidents, I suggest you to put them in conga stands. Especially for the Quinto, which is the one that it would fall very, very easy. Now I'm gonna try it in a flat surface. And as you can see, you don't have to worry too much for the conga and tumba. And now let's move on to the most important thing, which is sound. First, we're gonna start with the Remo Nu Skin Synthetic Heads. Now guys, for this, I'm gonna need your help. I have these two bongos. This one is an LP Matter Raul Rico Signature in Green Sparkle. And this one is an LP Galaxy Series Fiberglass Shell. It used to be Black Sparkle, but I hired someone in town to paint it in this color. I ended up doing a Frankenstein bongo, which I regret. I didn't really like the look of the gold hardware on the blue finish, so I temporarily replaced it with this Gumbobs hardware. The next option would be this bongo, which it was born the same year I was born on the 1988. Something I love about this bongo is that it's super light compared to the Galaxy bongo, which is super heavy. So I was thinking about hiring someone to match this bongo with my 35th anniversary congas. Please let me know in the comments what you think about the three options I have so far. This is the throne I'm gonna be using, which is a pork pipe percussion in blue sparkle. I bought this throne a few years ago and I think it matches my congas pretty cool. And of course, I had to put my own logo sticker on the throne. And now it seems like everything is getting blue in the house, including the dog. This is Azul. She's not a blue sparkle, but she's a blue healer. <laughs> when I bought the congas, they came with the Remo new skin heads on. And as you can see, the heads don't fit properly anymore because they haven't been on the drums for who knows how long. I'm gonna give you a tip so you can fix this issue. We're gonna put the heads in these positions, then we're gonna put some water on them. Then after 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna come back and you're gonna notice they got softer. That means they are ready to be installed again. If you got the heads off the drums, we're gonna take advantage and we're gonna put some soap on the head. And then with the sponge, we're just gonna clean them from both sides. Then we're gonna rinse them with water. Now we're gonna dry them with a towel. Then we're gonna hydrate the skins. And for this, you can use manteca de corojo, any type of hand or body lotion, or even baby oil. Just put it on the heads as if you were putting lotion on your hands. And don't forget to put it also in the other side of the heads. And now we're gonna install the heads and we're gonna just do the finger tight. So I'm just gonna leave them like that now and I'm gonna come back tomorrow. I'm gonna give them some time so they can get completely dry. I didn't have this issue with the Quinto. Besides, I like this type of heads more. Tumba. LP doesn't have a protector in between the hardware and the shell and after a while it can create some damage to the finish. I'm gonna give you guys a tip so you can fix this issue. Easy, you just gotta glue some foam in the back side of the hardware. If you wanna learn how to do this DIY project, please check out my other videos where I showed you in detail how to put foam on the hardware. I highly recommend you to do this hack especially if you just got brand new congas or simply just pay too much. 
all right guys that's it for today's video this is the lp 35th anniversary limited edition blue sparkle congas so far i really really like him the finish looks fantastic comes with chrome hardware and the most important thing which is the sound i really really like it i just gotta mess around with different tunings the only thing that got me down was that the remo synthetic heads didn't fit properly on the comfort curve two rims one of the things i would personally customize from these congas would be a 28 tall shell like my lp original model congas because i really like the wide rings at the bottom and of course i would get in with the chrome top tuning hardware but remember that's just my personal preference if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe